Hi everyone, I'm Alicia Fioletta, Senior Editor of Retail Touchpoints, and I have joining me right now Suzanne Maglucci, who is CMO of Channel Advisor. Suzanne, thanks so much for taking the time. Thanks for having me, Alicia. Well, we're here at the 2013 Shop.org conference in Chicago, and as you know, it's a highly digitally focused show, all about e-commerce, right. mobile, social. So I guess to start out our conversation, what trends do you think are key right now in regards to the digital and e-commerce space? Mm -hmm. Let's talk about two, and, and I'll pick my favorite, and I think the most prominent one, which is cross-border trade. Okay. Um, it is one of the biggest focuses of the retailers that we're speaking to here at the conference and, and that we're speaking to our customers and our prospects about. You know, uh, there was a recent study done by Nielsen and PayPal, and they tell us that by 2018, cross-border trade is going to increase by 200%. 200%. I don't know of any other market that's growing at quite that rate. So um, what we're hearing is retailers are really anxious to take, uh, take a hold of that wave and, and to, to drive it. Oh, that's excellent. You're right. I think there's a lot of potential for retailers in terms of international expansion. And it seems like a lot of retailers are starting out with e-commerce before even considering brick and mortar in terms of international expansion. I absolutely agree, and I think it's the right move, Alicia, because you know um, you can you can build stores, and we're not quite sure if people are going to come. But we can dip a big toe by using things like marketplaces to take us internationally. So um, uh, marketplaces like uh, Amazon or eBay um, have an established presence in these new markets, and so as a retailer, um, it's a fairly simple way and um, uh, you know a less oppressive way, if you will, to get yourself into a new market. You can you can ride the tails of these great um, existing marketplaces. Uh, try a presence for yourself. See if things work. Um, dip that big toe. Uh, rely on those other marketplaces to do the marketing for you, to bring the eyeballs for you. You just need to be compliant with their standards and to live into what they expect of you as a retailer to uphold the kind of uh, stature that they have. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So Channel Advisor obviously has a lot of expertise when it comes to these marketplaces as well as, you know, um, search engine shopping platforms like Google Shopping I know has been getting a lot of buzz lately. Sure. So what trends are you seeing in regards to marketplaces and Google Shopping among others and do you have any best practices for retailers who as, as you say want, want to dip their big toe into that space? Sure, sure. You know I, I have to key on Amazon um, to answer that question. Okay. I, they, they set the pace for what happens in the market. Let's, let's give them credit for that. And so um, I would say that we, we have this thing that we call the Amazon effect. Um, the way that Amazon works and what they bring to the market sets the pace for everyone. Retailers, um, technology folks like ourselves, and the consumer as well. They set that consumer expectation. They've set expectations for same day delivery. They, they, right. And now we all have to live into same day delivery. Um, and, and they've done a great job of um, making it possible for retailers out there in the market by building um, FBA centers um, where you can do your distribution from. So um, they set that pace and I guess for retailers um, you have to be ready to live into that market. And that's why I say starting with marketplaces that have already established that presence is a great way for you to dip that big toe. Um, but follow those trends that Amazon is laying out and understand as a best practice, understand how to live into it. So Amazon will tell you, we have certain standards for the way that you provide your, your images. We have certain standards for the way you write your descriptions and, and put your listings out. Listen very carefully to them and follow the rules so that you can play well because I guarantee you that your competition is going to be following those rules and in order for you to play well, you ultimately need to live into those standards and, and, and even take it above and beyond if you possibly can. Very rich images, you know, really well written descriptions and so on. Yeah. Well, I think um, providing the right content, I, I think, really speaks to being able to capture customers and make sure you're providing everything that they need to make the best decision. And I think that that really plays a key role in whether consumers are going to search somewhere else or whether they're just going to buy from you because you're giving them everything they want and need at that right. moment. Right. So would you say, um, you know, that's, that's a key best practice too, making sure, you know, all of your content is consistent, you have those great images. What, what other best practices or tips can you share with our... The short viewers? story is this, Alicia. Your, your, your feed is your listing. The best practice that I, can, that I can recommend to anyone is to make sure that you have an incredibly clean feed that you give to any one of the outlets and channels that you want to be advertised on. Mm -hmm. And so it's really about um, consolidating your data, getting it clean, scrubbing it, again, making sure that your images are as rich as possible, that your descriptions are um, as accurate as possible, so that you kind of float above the other retailers and, and grab those eyeballs and make those sales. In terms of any other trends or, um, you know, strategies that are emerging. I mean, what do you think is coming to a head in the, the retail space right now? Mm. So I would say right now, um, 
we're, we're seeing a bit of social. Um, you know, we've been talking about social and e-commerce, you know, flirting for a while here, right? right? <laughs> I think it's time for them to go on a first date. <laughs> so, so I think what you're going to see as, we, as we're sitting here next year, 2014, okay. I think we're going to be talking about how social is actually creating a revenue stream for retailers. Right? Finally, <laughs> it's going to be here. I mean, look what we have. Look what's happened in, in just recent months. You know, right. we have Pinterest now with rich pins, right? Mm -hmm. Now I can get stock availability and I can get prices. Can I buy? Not quite yet. Right. You know, I've, I've got uh, Twitter who now has, you know, product tabs. What's the next step? A buy button. So um, I'd say watch for it. And again, if retailers are ready, if retailers are working their data feed, if retailers are getting ready and their content is clean and it's ready, um, as these outlets and these channels turn on those opportunities, then smart and savvy retailers will be ready to take advantage of it. Now that's an excellent point, and you know, to that end, if that's the case, I'm very excited for 2014. <laughs> we will see you there. <laughs> All right, Suzanne, thank you so much for, again thank for you. taking the time, and thanks everyone out there for watching.